Hey, what's up? This is Antonio Thompson from AntonioRThompson.com, and I'm coming to you from my home office here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, I'm going to share with you nine ridiculously simple ways to find free MLM leads on Facebook. After this live stream, and I'm also going to do a blog post about this as well, but after this live stream and after reading my blog post, you should never, ever, ever, ever have to worry about leads because there are plenty of leads on Facebook. There are billions of people on Facebook and you don't need everyone on Facebook, you just need a small percentage. And so you can find high quality leads on Facebook for free. And this video, this, this uh, video and the blog post I'm gonna write uh, later on today is gonna share with you exactly how to do that. And so if you're building any kind of business, any type of business online, whether it be a network marketing business, um, a real estate business, an insurance business, um, a catering company, uh, whatever you're building online, you have to understand that having leads and customers are the lifeblood of your business. And without them, without customers, without leads, your business is doomed to fail, right? And so today I'm gonna to share with you some simple ways. I, I assume most people on this live stream are uh, either in um, network marketing or direct sales, but you can use these same uh, tips and, and techniques and strategies with any business, right? And so here are the nine ridiculously simple ways to find leads on Facebook. And the first uh, way that I have found uh, effective to generate leads and find leads on Facebook is friend requests, right? You know, most people typically will will only accept friend requests. And, you know, I like to, and I encourage you to go uh, a step further. You have to understand that, you know, social media platforms like Facebook are all about building relationships. And as I go through these nine uh, simple ways, you'll see that the common thread is building relationships, right? You build relationships, you get to know and understand what their struggles and challenges are. And then if they have a problem that your product, service, or opportunity solves, you share it with them, right? And so, the first uh, way is friend requests, right? Most people only accept friend requests and I choose to build relationships with them, right? So people re friend request me all the time. Actually, at the present moment, I can't accept uh, any more friend requests because I'm over the Facebook limit, but you want to actually engage with them. Typically, before I accept the friend request, I send them a message either through text or video. Um, I say hello. I say, hey, you know, thanks for the friend request. Just curious what inspired you to connect with me. Or I'll say something like, hey, what's up? Thanks for, you know, the friend request. How are you? Right? And then you just see where it goes. Hey, Leanne, what's going on? And see where it goes, right? And so your goal with friend requests is obviously to connect with people, you know, accept them if you want to but i typically send a message first to see you know what's going on and you know try to build that relationship that's where it starts right and once you have that conversation going you see where it goes you find out you know what they're struggling with what their pains are and then you can match them with your opportunity but most most people do is they do it right out of the gate right they go out there they accept the friend request and they start pitching them right you don't want to do that build relationships build rapport and then if there's an openness to your opportunity then you can share it with them the second way to generate you know, leads, uh, you know, ridiculously easy on Facebook is follows, right? On Facebook, people can follow you instead of sending you a friend request. And so what that does is, is when you, uh, when people follow you, when people follow me, I basically do the same thing uh, I do with friend requests. I send them a message. You can do either a text message or a video message just saying, hey, you know, what's up? Thanks for following me, following me, and you build a relationship, start a conversation, ask them, you know, what do you do? You know, um, you know, what inspired you to connect with me and see where it goes, right? Then you can see once you have that rapport and relationship, there's less less resistance and less uh, skepticism about you because they feel like they're connected to you now. Now you can actually see if they're open to whatever it is you have to offer. The third tip is videos and especially Facebook live videos right do your own videos or Facebook live videos you know I would I would you know if I'm gonna do videos I would focus on live videos because you know uh, they're getting a lot more engagement and reach on Facebook now um, but what you want to do on Facebook live videos a lot of people turn on Facebook live and they just like you know show their life they're walking to the park they're walking to the grocery store and they the, the content that they share is they share isn't of substance and so what I recommend 
you know, on your Facebook Lives is actually sharing something of value to your audience, sharing something that's going to help them uh, with a particular problem or challenge they're facing, right? And so you want to make sure your, your Facebook Lives are, are something uh, of high value that responds to a question that your target market has. So for instance, you know, I'm doing this Facebook Live today because my target market I know struggles with generating leads online. And, you know, most network marketers think that, you know, Facebook and social media is oversaturated and they can't find leads. Everyone's promoting the same thing online and there's no one to talk to. And so this content today is about showing you that there are um, other ways. There are ways to generate MLM leads on Facebook for free and Facebook is not oversaturated. So I'm providing value in that Facebook live in that recorded video that you do. You definitely want to make sure you have a call to action, right? You want to make sure you tell people what to do next, right? You want people to watch your content, to engage with your content, and then tell them to do something next, right? So you, the very simplistic thing you can do is ask them to comment below, right? If they comment below, then that gives you some entree to actually reach out to them and have a conversation. You could also direct them to um, your website, right? Not your company's website, but your own website, one that is about you and one that you own, right? And so you can say if you got value from this video you know definitely go to my website i've got some free training on there for you check it out or you can say if you got value out of this live stream definitely leave a comment below and let me know right you want to have a way to you want to have an opening to start a dialogue with someone and so the people that are watching this live stream leave a comment below if you're getting value and what i'll do is i'll reach out to you to have a conversation see what you're up to right very very simple very very powerful the um i think this is the fourth uh, way to uh, generate leads on Facebook. Um, Facebook posts, right? If you share uh, content and value on, on your Facebook page, ask a question at the end. Get your audience, get your fans, get your friends to engage with you. And what happens when you do that, when people are actually engaging with your content, Facebook will say, oh my God, something's going on. Something's going on, something's going on. Something exciting is happening on this page. Let me show it to more people. Right. And so when you get people to actually engage and comment and like and share thumbs up hearts, uh, the more they do that, the more people will actually see that particular post. And so what you want to do is when you're sharing your Facebook post, add a question at the end to elicit some interaction, some engagement. You know, when you do that, when people comment, when they engage below, you can also once again reach out to them. Say what's up. Thanks for you know commenting on my post. Great to meet you. How are you? Right? It's just like having conversations at a, um, you know, if you were out at sort of a, a networking event, right? Networking event, you're going to have conversations with people, right? You're going to meet strangers and strike up a conversation. At a networking event, you wouldn't go, hey, how are you, John? Check out my business opportunity, right? That just doesn't seem, that just seems stupid, right? You're going to have a conversation and say, hey, John, you're nice to meet you. You know, just curious. What do you do? Hey, Jessica, what's going on? Um, you want to have a conversation and get to know that person. You would do the same thing online, right? Don't just go out there and pitch, but have a conversation and get to know them. Build rapport, build relationship. The fifth way, travel and lifestyle pictures, right? Um, you want to live your life out loud with your audience, right? And so a lot of times people will post these luxurious mansions and you know flashing cash on the bed and uh, you know fancy cars that they don't own and you know I'm not knocking it but I know that typically doesn't work so what you want to do is share pictures of places you may have traveled to places you may want to travel to you may want to share some lifestyle pictures of you doing stuff out in public and then you know ask a question at the end of that particular post get people to engage with you ask questions and when they comment when they like it, when they share it, when they put thumbs up, when they put a heart around it, reach out to them, right? You're getting the theme here. The theme is really, you know, when people do something, when they engage with the content, reach out to them. When they comment, reach out to them. When they do any kind of reactions on your post, they share it, reach out to them and start a conversation. That's what social media marketing is all about, right? Network marketing is all about creating networks and marketing people, right? So talk to people, build relationships. Number seven of the ridiculously simple ways to find MLM leads on Facebook, the green people, right? The green people. 
These people are, are people who are already in your world. They know you, they are your friends. Now what most marketers do is they go to these green people and they pitch them right off the bat. They say, hey Johnny, here's my link, check this out. This would be great for you, perfect for you, right? And that's the wrong way to do. Don't do it that way, right? These are people you know, you may have not spoken to them in a while. Maybe you were college roommates. Maybe you, you know, went to grade school together, right? Your your uh, approach to these uh, green people, your friends, these basically your friends, right, on Facebook, is to say hello and you know see how's it going, right? Maybe you haven't spoken to them in a while, right? Your goal is to start a conversation, reconnect. You know, reestablish that relationship, and then as they open up, as they share what's happening in their lives, as they share what's going on, then there may be an opportunity for you to share with them what you're currently working on. Because they're gonna ask, you're gonna ask questions about them. Hey, how's the family? How's the kids? You know, how's work? What's going on? You're gonna do all those, you know, interrogation questions, right, to your friends. And then what they're gonna do is like, you know, so what are you doing? What's going on in your world? What's happening, right? And then you can share with them. Well, you know been you know working here and here you know I'm also doing some side products where I'm learning to you know market myself make some money online you know uh, that's what I'm doing then I'll ask you oh well, tell me more about that then you can say hey you know I got something to check out simple don't go out there blatantly just thanks for the thumbs up thanks for the hearts Jessica uh, don't just go out there and blatantly just pitch your friends and family because they're gonna block you um, consider you a spammer and never talk to you ever again. Just saying. <laughs> uh, number eight, uh, and this is another cool one, uh, Facebook groups. You know, most net, most groups uh, that you join on Facebook, network marketing groups, are going to be spam fest. So uh, you can certainly join those groups and engage with people if you have something that can help them. Um, but you want to join groups that have uh, that you have stuff in common with, right? And let's say you are a snowboarder, or let's say you are into skiing, right? Maybe you join um, one of those groups and just start building relationships, engaging with people, right? That's what this thing is all about. You can also join, you know, a groups that are uh, connected to or uh, related to your particular product, right? So if you're in a travel company, maybe join, join a travel group. If you are in health and wellness, maybe join a fitness group, right? Your goal in those groups aren't isn't to pitch, right? Your goal isn't to hey buy my product, buy my drink, buy my let me sell you travel uh, discounts, whatever it is, right? Your goal is to connect, engage. And then if someone, as you talk to people, they'll express to you what their their needs are. And if you have something that can, can solve their problem, you offer it to them. Very powerful stuff. And the last number nine of the nine ridiculously simple and easy ways to find leads on Facebook is using the friends of friends feature on, um, on Facebook. And basically what you do here is there's a, uh, uh, if you go to friends and there's like a little search bar kind of thing where you can actually find friends of friends. And basically, you know, what I do, I will follow that, follow uh, some friends that, friends of friends that I think I might want to connect with and get to know better. And I'll follow them. I'll probably reach out to them and say, hey, you know, just, you know, want to reach out. I know you are from New York City and we have, you know, so-and-so friends in common. Just curious, you know, what do you do? And I'll start a conversation. The, the end, at the end of the day, your goal is to start conversations. I was on a coaching call this morning with someone, uh, with a client of mine, and I was telling her, right, the, the goal is to start conversations online, right? As you would at a networking, networking event, you would start conversations and get to know people. You would grab their business card, right? Same thing is true online. Start conversations, start five new conversations each day. If you do that, every day for five days, only five days, you'll have been, you, you, you would have spoken to 25, started 25 new conversations in a week. If you do it for a whole month, that's a hundred new conversations that you have started. Now imagine, imagine if just mm, 5% or even 10% of those people that you spoke to uh, in that month joined your business opportunity, bought a product, right? 10 people, 10 people out of those 100 people you talk to, they bought a product. Maybe they joined your business opportunity. How would that change your business, right? So the, the point and the moral of this Facebook Live is to 
stop pitching. There are several ways for you to connect with people and engage with people, but you have to start conversations. I share with you nine ridiculously easy and simple ways to find leads, but the truth of the matter is you have to start conversations and not pitch them. So I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, please like it, share it, and comment on it. Definitely click the link in the description box below or on the screen to, to check out the free training where a seven-figure earner, Ray Higdon, shares how he earned his first $100,000 online in his online business. Click the link in the description box below or on the screen, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.